Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. And in this video, I'm going to explain how I transitioned from my MacBook Pro uh, running macOS that I had used for Magento development for nearly a decade to a Ubuntu based laptop. And I haven't looked back. Before I say anything else, the, the main thing that I've found since the sort of switch over is how fast Magento actually runs on my machine now. Um, deploying static content takes a few seconds, definitely less than a minute. Um, I could have been waiting like five minutes sometimes for it to for it to all deploy. Um, just actual refreshing of a page, uh, refreshing of an auto reload. Even with you know the main cache is switched off, so you get that sort of uh, updating on on the fly. Is just it's it's lightning quick, and it's due in in no small part to Valet Linux. Coming from a MAMP environment on my Mac OS, which has a MAMP Pro, in fact, which has a, a lovely GUI, loads of functionality within the GUI that you can then control, administering databases, domains, folder structure, Apache services, Nginx services, every, everything's in there thrown in um, and it's right in front of your face to be able to control. Um, it seems like the trade-off for that is is actual speed. Um, my instinct, as, as it was with uh, a lot of things when I first sort of got my hands on my laptop with, with Ubuntu was let me try and replicate what I had. It's not really the way to, to do it or the, the way from my experience now that I'd advise do it. Go in there as lean as possible with regards to the amount of programs you're putting on there. Um, so I looked at WAMP and I looked at, sorry, I looked at AMPS and I looked at ZAMP and if I'm being honest, they're, they're dog shit. They're not even worth. Anything that promises a, a, a GUI for Ubuntu, I'd stay away from. And if if it the Ubuntu's power is is its is its simplicity and and utilizing the command line a lot is something that you you know is, is utilizing the command line is something that you're gonna have to get used to. But as a Magento dev, you know it's not a bad skill to have and you should get used to it. And um, so I gravitated towards Valet Linux Plus. I'd had a bit of experience with Linux on a on a Mac, but I would got too many conflicts and problems, so I binned it. Um, but for, for the, for, from from install to set up, it's been an absolute dream, and 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 it's it's so easy to use. It's so lightweight, um, and a site I'd advise to go to is ValleyLinux.plus, and I would I would get it from there. I would definitely strip everything else out of your machine if you've tried ZAMP or AMPS, and uh, get get rid of them, um, and use this as your uh, main sort of. The, the, the thing that saves you your your development your local development environment ubuntu it runs mysql we all know this we use it on servers uh, but it's the version of mysql that might catch some people out and, and where for mention as sort of one of the important points from moving from a mac to mac os to um ubuntu is Ubuntu 20, which will be the one that, if you get it pre-installed from a manufacturer, or even, I'd advise if you download it, Ubuntu 20, the one you get, only supports MySQL 8. Now, that might not sound like a big deal. It It, it is if your databases are predominantly Magento 2, and they are coming from a lower version of MySQL. So as you can see, we've got MySQL 8 here. Um, I was importing all my local stuff from a Mac via a hard drive over to my new um, laptop. My version of MySQL on my Mac was 5.7 or something like that, something in that range. You get issues when you're trying to import. You get you get errors, and you get errors with these fields here. So I'll just... Um, zoom in so you get you get errors in time fields uh, so i was hunting everywhere for a way to get ubuntu to run 5.7 or a lower version of of my sequel don't even bother it knackers everything i had to re i had to reboot but luckily with ubuntu memory stick comes with it pop came back learn to work with my sequel 8 
you might as well. It's round the corner. If you're not on it already, which you probably should be, it, it's round the corner. And in the meantime, when you're importing your databases, simply unzip them if they're zipped, open them up in a text editor like VS Code, and whack that at the top. Set SQL mode. We've been doing that for ages, no auto value on, on zero. This is, I think, not only a problem when you've downloaded or dumped your um, databases from SQL Pro, uh, but even I even had, had problems when I was downloading from a command line on a server from 5.7 MySQL and then trying to upload on my local host to an eight. Um, but that these two sort of lands, or this one land, but two, two com SQL commands at the top of your file straightens everything out um obviously remember to get rid of definers and all that type of stuff here close if the password and username is different um we'll see if there's any get rid of those even though this definer would match my local host password and, and username i'd say just just get rid of them and i just normally do a find and replace for any entry of this so this is the way i would do it it just ensures that your database goes in there and you can re-index without any issues. So the 70, top tip number two, learn to use my SQL 8. Um, finally, bye-bye MySQL Pro. Now, MySQL Pro, it's hard to beat in it if, if you use that on a Mac. If you don't use it on a Mac and you're on a Mac, get MySQL Pro for your um, local and also remote database administration but there's nothing that really compares to it i must admit on ubuntu um you have to learn different ways uh command line isn't too shabby to be honest once you get the hang of it um you probably all imported um databases this way one time or another you're just sort of extending your um Beam it a little bit in terms of getting used to using like a CLI for for database admin. You can do like basic stuff in here, like create databases, um, show databases. You can, you can do more advanced stuff. You can get into databases. Um, you can, I think it's use. Um, you could do but to, to sort of get around that I'd, you, you might have used it before in a more of a in a more of a hacky way that the, i looked for some programs that did it i tried to install php in my admin but because i was running valet with nginx and php in my admin uses apache i was getting all sorts of conflicts on that and play so i, I, I couldn't be asked so what i resorted to was a really simple solution that it might work for you, is I got a copy of Adminer. I created a, a valet sort of site, if you like, um, a, valet, a valet sort of local, I'll bring it up. I basically created a folder which acts as a site in valet um to host admin and all i did was i changed the name to just tidy it up so it went you know uh, to the root there uh, but essentially this is just this this index file is just is just admin -er. um, and then you can log into your localhost quite easily see all your databases it has pretty much all the same functionality as what you'd expect from a database gui you know once once you're in there um you can switch between databases you can export them in all sorts of formats i've i've not lacked in the end um i've not lacked from from not having uh, my sql pro but it was it was fantastic for remote databases obviously remote you've always got with hosts you've always got php and my admin to fall back on so you know and, and if you get comfortable on command line well you can use that with your, with your remote databases as well but it really hadn't held me back. It was, out of all the things, it was the hardest thing to sort of figure out uh, an alternative for was was administering databases uh, on 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 MySQL, uh, sorry, on Ubuntu when running Valet. So, and, you know, obviously short of being able to use PHP and my admin locally, but admin is pretty much PHP and my admin by any other, 
by any other name, in it. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty good anyway, and it just fires up on a on a valet domain there. Um, yeah, th I mean, there's other there's other nuance that I could go into. Um, Elastic Search basically just works um, works from anywhere. I've got it set up as a as a as a shortcut in in my ZS8. So if I just type um, Elastic, it runs a it runs a command um, shortcut like a pseudo service start for Elastic Search. You can Google it and, and find that out. Um, and that's that's all I need to do to get Elastic Search working before I do a reindex on one of my local stores. Um, as I say, it, it's not been a, a, a difficult transition at all. Um, in terms of the hardware, I won't go into it too much because I don't want to seem as if I'm selling anything for anybody. But um, I got probably twice the power of a standard MacBook Pro for half the price. Uh, shop around, have a Google for um, the one I'd recommend, and by no way are they affiliated with this video at all, but have a Google of laptop with Linux. Um, I won't even bring it up. Just Google it, laptop with Linux, and and have a look at what they do because that's they're, they're they're really really good in um in my experience. Anyway, I hope you come over from macOS to Ubuntu soon, um and all all of you take care.